Come on now. You knew what this was. Welcome to the first installment of Power Rangers Month, readers. Over the course of this month, in celebration of the upcoming Power Rangers movie, everything that I will be talking about will be in regards of everything related to the series, including how I got into the series, which can be summarized by Selena Kyle. It's a blur. Readers, I could tell you that I saw the very first episode of Power Rangers that ever aired in America when I was a kid. And that was how I was initially hooked on the show. But in doing so, I would be lying my entire ass off. And from what I've experienced regarding certain friends and acquaintances of mine, pretty much everyone experienced Power Rangers in the same way that I did. They may not have watched the very first episode the day it was initially released, but they remember seeing an episode and remember liking it enough to keep watching. But I can only speak about my experience. I may not remember the first episode that I ever saw, but I know that I liked it enough to keep watching. And I eventually caught the very first episode. I liked the fact that they fought a new monster every week, and it was technically Power Rangers that introduced me to mechs. As a matter of fact, it was my first introduction to the concept of superhero groups as well. I didn't know about the Avengers before Power Rangers. I didn't know about the Justice League before Power Rangers. Power Rangers is pretty much the reason why I enjoy watching Sailor Moon and is definitely the reason why I enjoy watching Ronin Warriors. And the fact that their concept was able to be translated into a show like Gundam Wing is probably the reason why I enjoy the Mobile Suit Gundam anime series the way I do. Minus Gundam C, that show can lose me with a quickness. Honestly, other than DC Comics, I'd have to say that my second biggest influencer regarding what I like to take in and dish out creative nerd geek-wise is Power Rangers. Despite being able to see its cheese in this as I got older, I still watch the series that I grew up with along with the newer ones as well, with the ability to enjoy them despite no longer being their target demographic. So if I were to answer the question of what my experience of Power Rangers was, I'd have to say it was great. I owe a good chunk of my childhood to Power Rangers, a good sense of my geek and nerddom to Power Rangers, and a lot of my creative influence with Power Rangers as well. I even like a lot of the stuff that he continued to deliver past what I grew up with. And I'm glad they're still around to give newer generations a chance to have the same experience that I did. Hell, probably even better. So with that, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below what your experience was with Power Rangers growing up. It doesn't matter if it was through you, through your friends, through your brother or sister because they had better television privileges than you did and you had to watch what they watched and you secretly loathed it. Which I would know nothing about. I was the youngest of three siblings with my own television. Raised practically as an only child because they were in college and wanted to move out. Damn, I was spoiled. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Rita's 101. Class dismissed.